This time on Rock Up Racing, the season's final checkered flag may have waved, but the team's pace hasn't slowed. They're already deep into preparations for the 2024 season. In this episode, the focus shifts to Jura, the team's space frame race car clad in a Ferrari Dino body. After spending a couple of years in barn storage, it's time for a crucial shakedown at Snetterton. The team has been busy renewing the oil, replacing the pads, and performing some essential maintenance. But the lingering question remains. Will these efforts be enough to ensure Jura's performance on the track? Or is the car in need of a major overhaul? Join them as they rigorously test and discover what it takes to revive a race car from its slumber. Welcome to Rock Up Racing. Good morning from a chilly, but I don't know, it's getting sunny. Oh, look at my hair. Um, Snetterton is going out for a little drive. Tom's done some work back at Coastal and uh, gave it the once over, had all new oils and all of that. So um, she's going out today. With test days fully booked at Snetterton, Rock Up Racing decided to take a different route. Instead of the usual test day, they opted for a track day experience. Unlike test days where all drivers hold racing licenses, a track day gathers a mix of participants, from seasoned racing drivers to track day enthusiasts, and even those looking to unleash their prized cars on the track. Rock Up Racing is eager to get their car, Jura, on the track and hopes for a trouble-free run. First out in the car is Rob. He'll be giving the car its inaugural run on the track, carefully feeling out its performance and responsiveness. Despite the thorough inspection and restoration work carried out by the skilled team at Coastal Motorsport, the real test of this remarkable barn find will unfold right here on the circuit. What's that fucking diesel in there? Like is it? Car, yeah. As soon as you, as soon as you're out on the circuit. With its 2.0-liter Duratec engine, Jura may not be the fastest race car out there, but it has a hidden ace up its sleeve, its weight. As a space frame race car, it tips the scales at a mere 850 kilograms. This lightweight design takes full advantage of the 250 horsepower the engine has to offer, making Jura not only quick, but incredibly nimble, with exceptional handling characteristics. navigates through Coram Corner, a troubling sight emerges inside the cockpit's smoke. It's a sight no racer wants to see while strapped into their race car. Fortunately, the pits are just ahead, and without hesitation, Rob makes a beeline to bring the car off the track, heading straight for Tom, the team's trusted mechanic. It's time to uncover the source of this unexpected issue. Trying to smoke 
while I'm turning it over. It's smart, can't it? Like, to enjoy this. Yeah. So Robert's just taking it out and uh, for a few laps. There's no smoke out the back. And he says uh, there's some there's some smoke entering the cabin. There's nothing. It's only like, 65 degrees in the Nothing here, but there was some smoke. It was literally coming out from underneath the seat. So um, Tom's gonna just jack it up and just have a look at the uh, back of the engine. Bizarre. But it was actually great though, was it? Yeah, it was great. After a thorough inspection in the engine bay, it turned out that the smoke was nothing more than some old gearbox oil burning off the exhaust. A collective sigh of relief sweeps across the team. With Tom's expertise, the car is swiftly put back together. And it's now time for Charlie to take the wheel. Hey, Joe. Just do, just do a few laps, take it really easy, and just keep going uh, this way. Yeah. If it starts to smoke, when you just come in, it starts to smoke really heavily. Yeah. Charlie, who hasn't been on the track since last year after his successful stint, sharing the 944 with Robert in Charlie's first race. Unfortunately, the 944 broke during Rob's stint in that race, and is now in the middle of being rebuilt. So after a year of not driving on the track, Charlie is ready and keen to jump into Jura and try to feel his way back into driving. As soon as Charlie took to the track and approached Richie's, a right-hander, an unexpected issue arose. As the car's weight shifted to the left, the passenger door swung open. This was far from an ideal situation, especially for someone who hadn't been on the track for a while. The door was out of reach, and with other cars sharing the track, Charlie had to maintain control and stay aware of his surroundings. With no other choice, he has to bring the car back into the pits. Oh wait, that's what I'm doing now. Oh, yeah. right. Tom, the team's skilled mechanic, wasted no time and quickly made a solid field repair on the door. With the car now in working order, it was ready to head back out onto the track. Charlie, with his fingers crossed, hoped that the car would now run trouble-free, giving him a clear opportunity to get back into the groove of things. A few laps in, Charlie is slowly but surely regaining his racing feel. After such a long hiatus from track driving, it takes time to find the pace once again. Additionally, there's the challenge of learning a new car, understanding how it drives, reacts, and feels. Lap by lap, the times are steadily coming down as Charlie adapts to Jura and begins to unlock its full potential. The car is feeling fantastic, picking up right where it left off, and there's no doubt that it's showcasing its prowess as a remarkable race car. The team is elated to see the car seamlessly returning to the track, and this promising performance is generating a wave of excitement and anticipation for the 2024 season.
So that's it. The uh, the car worked amazingly. It's so we're so happy. We've actually got a race car that works. But um, no, so um, turned it back to the garage. There's a few tiny little minor things to look at um, to get it sort of race ready. But apart from that, the car's running fantastic. Like oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. That's a great day. And um, I've got some more time in a car. So it's been a year and year and a half since I've been in a car. So um, yeah, it's nice to be back out in a car. So awesome.